Hello, this is Elevated Perception Trainer, the author of The Perception Diet, and today we are going to talk about pain. We're going to talk about why pain is a part of this reality and how we can um, start to approach pain in a new and different way that may help us avoid suffering. Okay, so if you watched my last video, um, I touched on uh, the idea that pain is a part of this and that we're not going to rescue people from it and we're not going to rescue ourselves from it and that is not the point of this. That, that to avoid pain or to try to procure pleasure is not necessarily the point of life and, and, to, and it's this, um, our desperate attempt at avoiding pain that is actually causing us our suffering. Okay, so I would like to um, go a little deeper into this idea and I'm going to give you practical steps near the end of the video, okay, so it's going to be a little bit of theory at first and then I'm going to, I'm going to tell you how to make this practical um, in the second half, okay? So hang with me, alright? So first thing to understand, right, is that we live in a reality that is a reality, right? So we live in, in a world where we have experiences and some of these experiences feel good and some of these experiences feel painful, right? So we know obviously the feel good ones are when we feel connected, when we feel understood, when we express ourselves, when we grow, when we expand, those are all the things that feel good. Right? And in our current, you know, kind of culture and in our current understanding, there are things that feel bad, right? When we're rejected, when we don't get what we want, when we feel like our needs are not being met, when we feel threatened, or when our lives are threatened, um, when we feel in any way like we're not going to get what we need all of this feels painful right we have painful experiences and generally what happens okay in our current culture is when we experience a painful situation something that feels painful something that hurts because of where human consciousness is right now we label that thing as having not uh, as being something that shouldn't have happened right we shouldn't have been rejected we shouldn't have been held at gunpoint we shouldn't have been whatever whatever happened that was this painful experience it should not have happened or the thing that should have happened that would have made me happy that didn't happen and is now causing me pain that should have happened right and it shouldn't have been that it didn't happen and it is in that moment okay in that this should not have happened I should not have a stomach ache I should not be in this pain that is where the root of suffering occurs okay so when we reject reality all right what we are actually doing is rejecting the aspect of ourselves that is experiencing that painful reality okay so let me say that again when we reject a reality so when we say this should not be happening this should happen and it's not right we reject the part of ourselves that experienced that experience. That's the first thing we need to understand, okay? So in all of these spiritual teachings and all this stuff, we, we've, we've heard so much about the shadow self, so much about the, the wounded aspects of self, so much about these rejected aspects of ourselves. This is the root of that. When we reject a painful experience, we reject the part of ourselves that went through that experience. This is where the shadow comes from. This is where the, the wounded aspects of ourselves come from. This is where the self-sabotaging aspects of ourselves come from. This is the root of all of our suffering that we create from the inside, okay? Because this is where that initial rejection happens. It is in that painful situation that we don't know how to deal with, that we then label as wrong. We reject the aspect of ourselves that went through that because we are one with reality, right? So in truth, there is no separation. There, this is a unified experience. There is no you versus the reality, right? Not in truth, right? We have this, um, this construction of a you versus the reality, right? The you that is experiencing what you're experiencing. We have this as part of the construction of our experience here, but it's not ultimate truth. Right? Ultimate truth is reality and you are one. So as you reject reality, you reject the part of yourself that went through that reality. Now, when we reject, okay, no, next. Every experience, every experience, 
Every experience contains information about the reality. Okay? Painful experience, joyful experience, pleasant experience, unpleasant experience, things you wish happened, thing, everything is information. Everything is there to catalyze the growth of a part of yourself. All right? Because when we take in more information, right? When we have an experience, it gives us information. Whatever part of us that experiences that information grows. It becomes more ordered, more complex, more expanded because it is more, it has more information. It has more tools. So think of it like um, if you have like a, a basic structure of four sticks, you can make like a couple of nice patterns out of four sticks. But then when you get more information, that's like adding two more sticks and you can make a much more complex pattern. You see what I'm saying here? That is what love is. When we are in a state of love, we are accepting the information of the things that we're going through. And in that acceptance of that information, it evolves, it informs a part of us about the reality, something that we didn't know before. We, are, we have taken in new information and that is what causes evolution and expansion. Okay? That is, what, that is why we say that love is the one thing that feels good. That allowing is the one thing that feels good. That resistance is the one thing that feels bad. Because when we resist, when we say this should not have happened, that was wrong, that, that's bad, pain is wrong, pain is bad, right? We block information. The part of ourselves that was ripe for growth through that experience doesn't get to grow because it doesn't get the information, right? When we reject reality, we reject the information that that reality had for us, we then deny that part of ourselves that went through that experience, that information, so growth is not possible. And when growth is not possible, that part of ourselves starts to ferment, okay? So we know this. In this reality, we are either growing and expanding, integrating, or we're dying. Those are the three options, okay? There is nothing else. Stagnancy, is death okay so we are either accepting new information evolving because of it integrating the information that we just got and evolving because of it or we are devolving we are fermenting we are rotting we are dying that is how life works so any part of yourself that experienced something that you rejected doesn't get the information that part of yourself doesn't get to evolve and then it becomes a wound. It becomes something that is festering and devolving and causing us suffering. Okay? This is the root of suffering. When we have rejected a reality, we deny ourselves the capacity to evolve and expand because of that thing that happened. And in that, we deny that aspect of ourselves life force energy, love, expansion, information, whatever you want to call it. Right? It can't grow, and it then doesn't just disappear, right? It starts to die. It starts to die. So it's the same thing as when we cut our arm off from circulation. The arm doesn't then just disappear because it's not getting blood flow, right? It goes numb, and that's bad, and then we can't use it, right? And then when the, pain, when the blood starts to flow back in, it's painful, and it hurts, and it doesn't feel good, right? So this is what's really happening, okay? When we reject anything that happens to us because we have labeled pain as wrong and bad, right? We reject it. We reject any experience that is painful. We don't learn from it. Okay, and then and the second thing that happens here, okay, is that because we have the impetus to grow, evolve, and expand, and we know this in nature, anything that isn't growing, evolving, and expanding dies, right? We are a part of nature. This is, we are not separate from nature. As much as we have believed that we are separate from nature and that we have conquered nature and that we have evolved past it and da 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 da, we haven't. We're a part of it. We live in nature. Your body is nature. Okay? And again, as much as we deny that, it's fact. <laughs> and, and, you know, the, not, the denial of that is part of the reason why we're all so sick all the time, right? Is because we're not, we're not, 
acknowledging that our bodies are a part of a cycle and that there's cause and effect and that there's a specific way that our bodies need to be treated in order to function optimally because there is a structure and a system um, and our bodies are part of it. So we are a part of nature and so we are also here to evolve and expand or right to a grow in some way and that's what happens over life we see that again like this is this is demonstrated in our physical bodies you can't go back to your baby body nor can you just stay in it right evolution is the thing if your body doesn't grow you die that's what happens if your body isn't progressing it's dying so it's the same thing for every other part of yourself it's all a reflection of everything right so when we go through a painful experience and we reject it. We create a shadowed aspect of ourselves that then ferments, right? Self-sabotaging behaviors get created um, because, right, that pain now becomes suffering. That pain that we experienced, we start to re-experience it over and over and over again because, right, it doesn't just go away because we ignored it, right? It's like uh, if you get a bee sting, it's not just going to go away because you ignore it. If you get a cut, it's not just going to go away because you ignore it, especially if you get a big cut right, and you just pull your sleeve down over it and pretend like it doesn't exist, it doesn't just go away. It gets infected, and then you get a blood infection, and then it's systemic, and then it's taxing your liver, and it's taxing your, um, your immune system, and all of these things, right, it all, it creates more and more and more and more and more pain. It spreads out. It creates suffering, right, so that initial painful experience that just had information for you starts to ferment and grow and expand and we get all these other things from it. So when this happens, right, we have to understand that we are actually setting ourselves up to experience that pain over and over and over again because again, that pain was there to expand us. That pain was the next step on our evolutionary path. And it's like when you're climbing a mountain, you don't get to skip steps, right? You can't go, like, and I understand, you know, we, maybe that's not the best, when you're going through school, you don't get to skip grades. Even if you're super, 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 super duper intelligent and you get to skip a grade, okay, the reason that you got to skip the grade is because you already had the information, right? But generally speaking, you don't get to skip grades. And the reason you don't get to skip grades is because evolution happens, growth happens in a sequential order, right? So your reality happens in a sequential order. And I understand that this might be like, well, why would I believe that, right? I don't even believe that, there, I don't believe that there's order and structure to the universe. I believe it's all just chaos and randomness and all that stuff. And I'm saying, okay, um, that's fine if you believe that. And, and if you don't take this metaphor, that's okay. I will, again, just go on to have just some practical things as we go along. But if you do believe that there is some order and structure and some um, unity within this reality, right? School goes in a sequential order. You don't get to skip grade one because you hate it. Right? You get, as much as you reject and deny and try and get out of grade one, you have to do grade one before you get to go to grade two. So when we den reject an aspect of reality and when we deny the pain that we're in, right, we're just going to keep re-experiencing that pain until we learn what that pain has for us and then we can move on to a different experience. Okay? So pain does not mean you're out of alignment. Pain does not mean your vibration is low. Pain does not mean you weren't thinking the right thoughts and now you caused yourself pain. No. Pain is going to be a part of our experience on the human planet forever because pain is information. Okay? So again, right? We wouldn't want the body not to experience pain when we put our hand on a burner because if it didn't experience pain when we put our hand on the burner, we would incur more and more and more and more and more and more and more, and more damage till eventually we have no hand. Right? Because we might not notice that it's burning, that our flesh is burning, because uh, there's no pain. We like pain. That pain gives us information. It is exactly the same thing with everything else that causes us pain. Pain does not happen in a vacuum. It happens as a cause of something. And the pain is the, um, the warning sign of the effect. It is the messenger. So, no matter what you believe about learning and growing and expanding, about if we are even here to evolve or whatever, it doesn't matter. If you are a human being who is experiencing pain, what I'm going to tell you is it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter what you believe. If you are rejecting that pain, you are causing yourself to suffer. So that's the bottom line. I don't care what you believe, I don't care who you are, I don't care what you're doing. If you reject the pain you're in, you cause yourself to suffer. 
you reject information, you reject understanding why that pain is happening, and evolving with new information to a new place where you can choose a different experience that doesn't have to be painful. That is what pain is doing. It is teaching you something. Every experience contains information and that is the entire purpose of everything you've ever been through. So when we reject pain, we actually recreate it for ourselves over and over and over again because it is information we're not getting. Okay? So how can we approach pain in this new way? Number one, have compassion for yourself, the person who's in pain. If you're suffering, if you have self-sabotaging behaviors, if you're physically in pain, if there's any pain in your life, have compassion for yourself that you hate that pain and you don't want it. Okay? I'm not telling you to sit here and just be like brave and just accept it and love it now. No. Start with loving the part of yourself that hates the pain. Okay? That's where we start. Start with loving the part of yourself that hates the pain. Start with compassion for yourself that you don't want this pain. You wish this pain didn't happen. You, you hate this pain. You're angry about this pain. You're sad about this pain. Allow all of that to happen. Okay? Be with that one. And, and go through the emotional system of expressing that painful situation, right? Allow yourself to climb the vibrational scale emotionally about the pain that you're in. Don't pretend you're not in pain anymore. Don't deny your pain. And this is the other thing that I'm going to give to you as um, if you're a light worker. You're not here to help people deny their pain. You're not here to help people not be in pain. You're not here to help rescue people from their pain. You're not here to try and get rid of your own pain. Okay? We want to go into our pain. We want other people to go into their pain because it is a part of this experience that has information for us and it is a part of the evolution that we're here to, to go through. And nobody who is denying their pain is actually denying their pain. Right? When we deny pain, we create bigger problems for ourselves. That's all that happens. We are all so afraid of our pain, and so afraid of our emotional pain, and so afraid of our mental pain, and so afraid of our physical pain, and so afraid that if we, we embrace it and accept it and, and lean into it, that we're going to be in pain forever then. But we're not seeing that, like, again, like, let me ask you this question. For as long as you've been denying your pain, has it gone away? Has it gotten less? Or has it festered and become worse? Right? So again, I get it. The fear of going into the pain is that that means that we're accepting it and we're going to be in it forever and we're going to law of attraction more pain to ourselves. That's not the reality. Right? Observe yourself. Observe your reality. Have you ever seen yourself or anyone else deny pain away? No. I don't think that you have and I don't think it's ever worked for you. So yes, this new thing is scary to go into the next thing. The next phase is to go into your pain and assume it's right. Assume this pain should be happening. Now, why is it happening? What is the information? That painful experience that happened to me in, as a child, what was it trying to catalyze in me? Where was the growth opportunity there? It wasn't the reality trying to fuck me over, okay? And it, like I said, we know this. We know that the, some of the most successful, amazing, expanded consciousness people are the ones that experienced the most pain and found meaning in it, right? They found meaning in their pain. They found a message in their pain and they let it make them a more expanded, evolved, complex human being. That is the escape from pain, from suffering, right? Is to take our pain and to learn from it. So allow yourself to have the emotions, allow yourself to be afraid to go into the pain and then start getting curious about your pain. What are you trying to show me? What are you trying to tell me? Why do I have this self-sabotaging behavior? What are you trying to protect me from? Right? Any self-sabotaging behavior, it's just, it's just you trying to defend yourself against this part of yourself that is the reflection of the reality you have rejected. Okay? Self-sabotaging behavior is you trying to get rid of the part of yourself that is the reflection, the part of yourself that experienced the painful reality that you have rejected that you're trying to get rid of. So make friends with it. What message does it have? It's going to lead you to the place where the pain really is and you can start to get that information. And I will make another video on this, like how to get that information, but really I would just say the Emotional Mastery Series. 
take it into your heart space room. That part of you that went through that thing that you think shouldn't have happened, bring it into your heart space room. Communicate with it. Get the message of that pain. Understand pain is always going to happen. It doesn't mean you're out of alignment. It's part of the information. Like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. I'll see you in the next video.